Thanks so much. My name is Chell, Swedish. Chell, K-J-E-L-L, pronounced Chell. I know, I understand. It's a difficult name. No one ever gets it right. I understand that. I get that. But the names that people come up with are crazy. I used to wait tables at the Bubba Gump Shrimp Company at the Mall of America. Uh, yeah. Have you, guys, have you guys been to the Mall of America? Have you, have you seen the mangy trash that trolls that place? Just a bunch of mutants, these people. They come in with their fanny packs and their Green Bay Packers starter jackets. Their hair is just matted down like a coyote that's been caught in a bear trap for three weeks, just hoping to die. He's like, no. Nah. That's how they shower in Wisconsin. <laughs> so the problem is they have no manners. People will come in. When you wait tables, people get angry at you for nothing. It's not your fault. They just get angry at you. People will come in just angry. Just like, gra- they would grab me. Like, aggressively. What happened to manners? Excuse me. Please. Pardon me. Thank you, right? Manners. Scoop of sugar in a salty day. These people would come in and just grab me. Hey! Hey, it's like, don't grab me with your abusive, alcoholic, negative energy. And they're just, hey, what is this on the menu? I don't know what this is. What is, what's Maui Maui? What's Maui Maui? I'm like, I don't know. What? That's Hawaii. Are you trying to say Mahi Mahi? You stupid, illiterate fuck. <laughs> Like, don't grab me, okay? Let's say you lose a Spider-Man t-shirt and get a tutor. That might help the situation. <laughs> so I was waiting tables, and I, I did my table approach, and I have a name tag. My name is spelled out clearly in puffy paint. K-J-E-L-L. This guy looks up, he goes, K-J-E-L-L. Is it couch? <laughs> That's what he said out loud to my face. I'm like, yeah, my first name is Couch. My first name is Couch. How did you get that? How did you know? How did you get, how did you know that J-E-L-L is just totally silent? Just forget about it. And it's pronounced ouch, too. You just grab that out of nowhere. You grab it. I have an identical twin brother. Everyone's like, what's your brother's name? What's his name? His name is Trigvi. T-R-Y-G-V-E, Trigvi. My name is Chell. My parents' names, John and Jean. <laughs> Assholes. My brother is, uh, he's older by five minutes and, um, Apparently, those five minutes gave him the ability to succeed in life. Because that's the case for most twins. Usually, the older twin excels at everything by just a smidge. And who's better at everything? He got better grades in school. He was better at sports. This goes back to birth. This is true. Uh, My parents didn't know that I was coming. They thought they were just having my brother. That's awesome. I crashed my own birth. That's a great way to end the world, right? So he comes like, oh, look at our little baby. We love him. <laughs> yeah, he's got success in his eyes. He's a, it's our fella. <laughs> Yay. And this is what the doctor said word for word. Because the story is so funny. It's told at every Thanksgiving dinner. The doctor said, wait. There's something more. <laughs> like I'm some beast or creature of unknown species. That's a licensed physician. <laughs> That says there's something more. Well, what? Like, why did you say, hold on here, we got some afterbirth and it's taking human form. <laughs> My brother's wrapped up in a warm, cozy blanket. They put me in a bedpan. That was my welcome mat to the world. What's a bed man? I'm like, I'm freezing. I'm freezing. Can I get some gauze or something, anything? People ask, uh, people are intrigued by twins, and I get that. It's a, it's a unique thing. People, guys ask uh, creepy questions. <laughs> guys, guys, when they find out I'm a twin, the guys are like, oh, you guys are twins? That's cool, man.
Yeah. <laughs> You guys ever do the old switcheroo with the girlfriends? Hmm? Switcheroo? I'm like, no. <laughs> no, because I'm not a sociopath. Like, you... what? What? Can you imagine that scenario? <laughs> Creep into my, my brother's bedroom, you know, and having some fun. And <laughs> all of a sudden, I turn the lights on. And I'm like, ha ha! I, I fooled you. <laughs> It's your brother-in-law. It's not your husband. Oh my god! Oh, oh. so funny. I got you. I got you. That's funny. Switcheroo! Yeah. It's a joke. We're just having fun. He's uh, he's got a kid. He's got. Uh... You guys have kids? You guys have sex? Kids are fun. He's, uh, they're fun to mess with, you know, just play with their heads. He's losing his teeth. And uh, he asked me, this is a great question. He's like, Uncle Chell, my tooth is loose. If I'm sleeping and I accidentally swallow the tooth, will the tooth fairy still give me my money? I'm like, that's a great question for a little kid. And I'm like, this is when I get to play with them. I'm like, yeah, you know what? Yeah, you, you are going to get your money back. Here's what's going to happen. Um, while you're sleeping quietly and gently in the night, He's gonna creep into your room. He's gonna slice open your stomach. He's gonna reach in there. He's gonna, he's gonna pull out that tooth. He's gonna shove a dirty dollar bill in your lower intestine, okay? It's gonna be a lot of blood. Don't worry about that. That's fun juice. That's fun juice. You're gonna poop that out, okay? You're gonna poop that dollar bill out. And it's yours to keep. And he, he honestly laughed at that more than you guys did. <laughs> and it was so funny. He's like, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> They're such sponges, you guys. They're sponges, right? And he was getting older. My brother asked, uh, he asked me to look after him for the first, first time my brother left. Uh, he was going out of the country. He was leaving his kid. He's kind of a helicopter parent. He's gone for a week and a half. He's going to the Bahamas with his girlfriend. He asked me to look after his Kid, and when, you, when you're asked to do that, people, you know, kids, people are like, do you know what to do? Like, they think you don't know what to do. So he'd written down this whole thing, like a list of things I was supposed to say, like a dialogue every night. <laughs> His kid's 13 years old at this point. And I'm, supposed to, I'm supposed to say, you know your dad loves you, right? He loves you a lot. He loves you to the moon and back. You know what that means, right? means he loves you a lot. Like, I'm supposed to do this whole dialogue. I'm like, this is weird. This is weird. Like, first of all, he's 13 years old. He's six foot two. I'm five seven. So I'm like, you know your dad loves you, right? He loves you a lot. And I'm like, what is, why, why am I, why am I pushing his love? You know, I'm the one that's here. My brother is in, Jamaica with his hippy dippy girlfriend smoking dope. I'm the one that's here smoking dope. You know, I'm the one taking care of it. I'm like, that's what he says. He says he loves you to the moon and back. He goes, yeah. I'm like, that's not that far. I started, I started crunching numbers. You know how far it is to the moon and back? It's, it's, it's 250,000 miles to the moon and back. That's not that far. It's like a used Honda Accord. That much. She doesn't love you that much. I love you, okay? I love you. I love you. Yeah, I love you. You know how much I love you? I love you to the to the sun and back. That's how much I love you to the sun and back. You know how far it is to the sun and back? It is 94 million miles to the sun and back. That's how much I love you. Yeah, you know why? Because you're actually my son. I have a really funny story to tell you about the old switcheroo. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. All right, you guys, thanks so much. Enjoy the rest of the show.